The following poem is about my sexy. Ooh, uh, go guys. ahead, girl. Oh, I have to. Yes, you are. Go ahead. I wear fishnet skirts in the snow. <laughs> fishnet shirts in the snow. Oh. And dare the wind to chill the invisible steam secreting from my aura. As a matter of fact, I am so sexy when I walk outside, the wind forgets how to blow. And it is so entrapped by my oxymoronic cool that he decides that I am better suited for his job. So when it's cold outside to all you unsexies, remember I'm the one that did that. <laughs> I'm so fucking sexy. I tried modeling, but in order to photograph, film, or draw my sexy, it must be nude because my sexy makes clothing look ugly. Right. As sexy as the great line of sexy before me. Sexy as my grandmother, whose beacon of sexy still lies in her breast. Breasts that rose high in her prime, nursed three children, comforted those that did not belong to her, and after a year-long battle with the cancerous demon in which she was the victor, proudly forever wears one B cup and one D cup, and not as a scar. Okay? Like the shiny, victorious medallion that only winners get. Champs like her are sexy mother fathers. And if this life were a race, we would be too sexy to run it. And not because of our concern with nails, hair, sweat, or heavy breathing, but because sexy motherfuckers, motherfuckers like we are built for better things. Like cheering on the slow unsexies as they run by. <laughs> people love encouragement from sexy people. <laughs> sexy ass people like me love ice cream and cupcakes and tacos. And not necessarily in that order. And I don't go to the gym to stay fit. I go to the gym to keep my sexy out of manageable medium. Because with every pound I gain, my sexy is magnified tenfold. If I became too Ooh. sexy, the world would end. That's why I'm trying to get it tight before 2012. <laughs>